All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be about the fifth grand. Now, last week, I did a video right here. You see this board, remember I said, remember it? Give me a thumbs up if you remember what I'm talking about. Also, guys, make sure you do subscribe because I have a lot of upcoming videos that you guys are gonna wanna see about sub panels, about bonding, about grounding, just all kinds of crazy things that are gonna be going on this year. So, let's jump right in here, trying my damnedest not to have any stories, so these videos are not 600 minutes long, and we get right to the point. So let's jump right in here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with a brand new whiteboard because it was confusing. I rewatched the video for a quick second. I was like, you know what? Let me just start right here. This is the box we have. We're gonna say it's our 20.3 cubic. It doesn't really matter because this is just for demonstration purposes, but it kind of does matter in a sense, and you'll understand why in a second. So we're gonna have our Romex is coming in here. We're gonna have five of them. Remember, I said there's gonna be five. All right, and on each Romex, you have three wires coming off. All right, like I said, I'm not an artist. Let me pull you a little closer so you guys can see this. All right, so you have five wires coming in here. You see five wires? I see five wires. All right, so having said that, we need to know how many hots we have, how many neutrals we have, how many grounds we have, how many internal clamps we have, how many devices. All right, now we know we have one device. We have to count this device as two wire sizes, and we know that everything here is gonna be a 12-2 Rumex. So everything in this box is 12-2. We do know that we have to, already, our device is two times 2.25, and we can see that right here. This is in the code book, 31416B, you can check it out. All right, so we do know that there's gonna be 2.25 times two. All right, we're gonna start at the top here. All right, we know that each Romex has one hot. There's five Romexes, so we do know that there's five hots. We also know that there's five neutrals in this Romex. How many grounds are in there? There is five grounds. How many internal clamps? Well, one, because you only count the internal clamps as one. How many devices? Well, we know that there's one device, but we have to count each yoke strap as two, su two sizes. So we're gonna put this at one device. We do know that this will be a four point Five zero. We need to figure out the math, all right? So I'm gonna try not to confuse myself or you guys because I had a whole bunch of writing on here and it looked like just poop on a white rag, basically, or a whiteboard. All right, so let's go move over to this little spot right here, all right? We knew the five hots, five neutrals, correct? That's 10 wires, and we're gonna put them at 2.25, and we're gonna multiply 2.25 at 10 wires, all right? But there's some more because we still have five grounds. Now, if you remember from my last video, guys, if you don't know what I'm talking about, there'll be a video popping up very shortly. Check it out. Four, after four grounds, the fifth wire has to be taken in a whole different context. After four grounds, the fifth wire has to be added or treated a little different. So if you look in the code book, it tells you anything after five, four grounds, you have to be treated at a quarter of the size of what wire you're working with. So we know that a quarter of 2.25 is 0 0.5625. All right, you can do the multiplication, figure that out. All right, so this is what the fifth wire of this will be counted as. All right, so we have 2.25 times 10. That's these two wires right here, this one and this one. We also have to add one more 2.25 times one for our ground. Our now, I know this is gonna be confusing, but you gotta listen to me, all right? You have five grounds, four of them are gonna be treated as one size wire. So we'll just do this, we'll erase this, and we'll put this as right here. So now we're at 11 times 2.25. There's 10 and four grounds at 2.25. The other one will be treated as 0 0.5265. All right, so 
Let's go ahead and also do our internal clamp, which will be at 2.25. So that is now 12. And our device, we did the multiplication here. It's treated as one device is two wire sizes, so it's four and a half. So we have to do, you can either do that or you can just put 14. All right, see what I'm doing here? We're just adding all this together. All right, so we've done the internal clamp. We've done the device at two. And then we have to do it one more times 0 0.5625. Now, 14 2.25. Remember, that's your 12 2, 2.25. Five hots, five neutrals, one ground. That's 11. All right. You have 12 for the internal clamp. 13, 14, two wire sizes for your device. Even though it's one device, you count it as two wire sizes. And that's what I did. That's how we equal 14. And the fifth ground, or the last ground, because there's only one left, we'll take that as 0 0.5625, all right? Cut and dry. Does that make sense, guys? I hope so. Let's do this math and let's figure out what the math is. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I had to get my calculator out. All right, so if you do the math, this is 31.5, and then this is obviously 0 0.5625, which is a grand total of 32.0625, or we can just say 32.1 if we want to round it up. So basically, you would need that size box. Now, if it were me, I would make sure that you had at least a 33 cubic inch box just to be on the safe side. Guys, does this make any sense to you? I hope to God it does. It's super easy. We just got to think about what you're doing. Everything has a rating, okay? Now, we know that this original box here at 20.3 is not going to cut it. We already knew that long before we started this video, but I just wanted to show you what you did if you had five room X's in there. So you would know that if this is the box you started out with, you would need... We're just gonna go ahead and bump it on up to 33. Now, would an inspector probably let you go with 32 cubic inch? More than likely, but why not just get a bigger box and be done with it? All right, so this is the cubic inch box I would recommend. Always go bigger, you can't, if you go smaller, you're gonna, you know, well, you guys know. Go bigger, go home, right? All right, so we'd have to bump this box up to that, then you can put your receptacle in there and you can walk away from this. I hope I did not confuse you guys. Uh, Everything is in the code book here. You guys can feel free to check it out. 314 is where it starts. 31416 is where it starts. Check it out, read it. It's very informative. Get you a handbook. I'll leave a link down below where you can get this on Amazon if you want to. I highly recommend the handbook over just the code book. There's plenty of pictures in there. Help you out, help you understand. I need pictures sometimes. I actually need some people sometimes telling me exactly what to do so I know that I'm not going to screw up. It doesn't hurt to ask questions and it definitely doesn't hurt to look at the pictures. All right, guys, this is super easy. I hope I did not confuse you guys. I feel like this is a confusing topic. It's hard for a lot of people to understand. It was hard for me to understand right at the get-go. You know, I had to sit and think about it and I actually watched a few videos, talked to a few inspectors and I got their input so I knew that what I was going to tell you guys is correct. All right, make sure you guys take your time, look in your box and make sure you have enough room in your boxes to get your wire size figured out correctly. Don't get yourself in trouble. Don't make more work. Don't just do half-ass work, put a box up and then know that you're gonna get in trouble. Hope you slide by because you know, you're only gonna hurt yourself in the long run. You don't wanna get yourself a bad name, guys. Listen, I right, give me a thumbs up. This helped you guys. I'm here to help you guys. I'm trying my best to do it as simple without as many stories as possible so you guys can understand how not to get yourself in trouble by using these formulas right here. Get yourself a code book. I, like I said, I'll leave the link down below. If you use my Amazon link, it might help me make a little money. And all I do is put it right back into the channel so you guys can keep getting these videos repeatedly. All right, stay tuned. I have a whole lot coming up very shortly. Sub panels. We're going to do all kinds of stuff in this garage this winter. Can't wait, guys. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.